Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, our forms module which is part of the teachers to parents application. Um, so what we're going to do is just have a little overview on the system. I'm going to show you how you can compose forms um, and send them out to uh, parents and uh, other contacts that you have um, for various things. You can use this module for collecting um, permission from parents for things like uh, trips and things like that uh, and also to collect data uh, from parents, so things like medical information and such. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll take a look. So when you log into the forms module, this is the kind of home screen that you'll see. Um, when you want to create a new form, you will see that there is a button just up here for create new form. Um, so what you would do is you would click on this um, and then you can sort of build a custom form and you just click go. So the form name, this is uh, what the uh, the parents will see when you send the form out. So you can put in there what the form's regarding. Um, and then the send to, as you can see, we've got a few options here. So you can send to a parent regarding a student where you get just one result uh, per child. You can also send forms out to staff and other contacts uh, for things like surveys. And then lastly, we also have an anonymous option where you will compose the form and then you get a link to that form, which you can then send out or you can post the link on uh, a school website, for example, um, for people to fill in and submit results anonymously. So let's show you how to create a form. Now, what we have done is we've actually created a form already with some uh, components in that you can have a look at. So we're going to take a look at this one for permission for photographs. Okay. So as you can see, we've got a form name in there and who we're sending it to. And then underneath, you'll see that we've got some form components. Now these components, uh, you can add as many of these into a form as you need, and each component does a little different thing. So at the top, we've got a component which is a, a text box. So if we edit this component, and you can see how it looks. So the idea of the text box is you can use this to just post some general information about the form, kind of like an intro. And as you can see, we've got some information about this form for uh, photograph permission. In this text, you'll see that we've got uh, what we call tokens. Uh, we've got one for student forename and student surname. Now, what these tokens do is when the form gets sent out to the parents, the tokens will be replaced by the name of the child. And we have various other tokens in here for student tokens. So you can put like, the reg and the year group in there and things like that. Other components that you can put into a form, uh, things like section dividers. And um, what these do is just put a little bit of space on the form so that when they're filling them in, there's a bit of space between components. Um, and then we also have components for permission. So if we take a look at this first one and edit this one, and you'll see that this is asking the parents a question of which they've got two options. So the question is about giving permission for the child's photograph to be used. Uh, and the answers are simply yes or no. Now, this, when you compose this component, you can choose whether you want only one option to be selected or whether you want the parents to be able to select multiple options. Okay. Other components include this one at the bottom, this signature one. Now, this one is quite useful because what this does is this puts uh, an electronic uh, signature box, which the parents can sign either by using their computer mouse or if they're on like a tablet, for example, they can use their finger and click and drag to sign in that box. You can also, with components, make them a required input, which means that when the parent is filling the form in, they must fill in that component, otherwise they won't be able to submit the form. So quite useful for signatures, for example. So if we go to the bottom, at any point whilst you're composing a form, you can preview it. So we've got a preview button just here, and this will show you what the form will look like when it's sent out. So as you can see, the first component there is the text box with all of the information. Okay, and then we've got all of the permission components where it's asking those questions. So it's just a simple yes or no option. And then as you can see at the bottom, we've got the signature box where you can use your mouse and just simply sign there. And then you would click next to submit the form. So once you're ready to send it out, what you would do in the bottom right, you've got this little save icon and it then brings you to the sending page. Now from here, you can choose a due date as to when you want your form to be submitted by. 
And you can also set a reminder date to remind the parents that they need to have completed the form by that due date. We have the send to option here again. So sending to parent regarding the student and then for staff another as well. And then also the anonymous option. Just here, you'll see where it says send email and then send text. Now this is going to be based on your teachers to parents subscription. So if you only subscribe to the teachers to parents text messaging service, you will only be able to send out these forms uh, by text message. But if you are subscribed to both the teachers to parents text messaging and email systems, you can choose to send both. On the right, we've got this bit where it says can edit responses. Um, so this means that once a recipient has submitted a form, if this box is unticked, it means that they won't be able to change their response once it's submitted. But if you do tick that box, they can reaccess the form and edit their response should they wish to. Then it's down to choose who you want to send to. So we've got this little recipient section down here. Now you can either add recipients individually. So you click add recipient and you can start searching for them. Or if you know which year group the student is in, for example, you can click into the year group and then select a recipient to send to. Alternatively, you can add recipients by group. So you can choose a group. And again, we can choose a year group as an example, and then it adds that whole year group in. So once you're ready to send it, in the bottom right, you've got two options. You can send the form now, or if you click the little arrow next to it, you can choose to send the form later. And then the system will ask you when you want to send that form out. So you just give it a date and a time, submit that, and then the form will be sent out on your behalf. So that's how you can send out a form for something quite basic, like permission slips and things like that. What we'll do now is we will take a look at a form that's a little bit more complicated. So we'll look at this student medical information one that we've got down here. Now in this form, as I scroll down, you will see that uh, there are a lot more components in this than the other one, and they do look a little bit more complicated. So once you've got to grips with the system, you can start really sort of customizing forms and editing the components that are in them. What we'll do, just so that you can see what all of these components do, is we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to preview it. Okay. So with this medical form that we've got, we've got prompts for text. So there's a prompt for text at the top um, for the GP details. And you're gonna see that this is a required input. Okay, so this is prompting them for the doctor's name and address and also the telephone number. And then we've got some questions. So these ones are gonna be simple yes or no options. So you can only select one response. But then we've got other questions where they can select multiple answers. So for example, does the child suffer from any of the following? You can obviously select multiple responses. Then we have some questions that depending on the answer, the parent will then be presented with another, another question. So we'll look at this one. Does your child have any other medical conditions? Now, if they answer yes, you'll see that it then provides them with an extra component to fill it. Okay, whereas if they answer no, that simply won't appear. Okay, now this is because of a certain component which is called a rule. Uh, and the rule component you can set up so that if a parent responds to a particular question in a certain way, you can have a rule designed to then present them with another option. Okay. So as we go down, you'll see even more required fields for contact information. And then at the very bottom, Again, the signature box is there. So that's a bit more of a complicated form than the first one that we looked at. So what we'll do next is uh, we'll take a look at the results. So obviously once a form has been sent out and all of the results have come back in, you can view those results at any point. So what we've done is we have sent out a form already for the permission for photographs that we looked at earlier on. And as you can see with this bottom form here, we've got some responses. So what we will do is we're going to click on to results and it's going to bring us into the results of this form. Now, what you will notice is that the results are pre uh, presented in the form of like a table. Um, and what you'll see across the top is all of these questions, which were the components that we set up within the form. And then simply underneath, you'll see a list of all of the children whose parents it was sent out to and what the parents have responded. 
and you'll also see uh, these signatures at the end as well that they've signed electronically. You can, if you need to, edit a response for a parent. So if a parent has uh, submitted the form, but they realise they did something in error, then they can contact you at the school and you can come into the system and you can edit the response that they've given. So what you would do is you would change the response to whatever it is, and at the bottom, it will say reason for edit. Okay, and then simply you are putting in there the reason that you are editing that response. What you can do with the uh, results as well is you can download them. So you can download the results as like an Excel spreadsheet so that you can save them or sell, print them off and send them elsewhere. You can also print the responses from here as well. And another thing that you can do is you can view charts for the forms. So in the top right hand corner, we've got this charts button. This will then give you some charts uh, with regards to the responses for the form. So if we scroll down to the questions here, and you can basically see a pie chart as to the proportion of answers that the parents gave. So that's how to view the results. And we've also been through how to compose a form. Now what we can do is I can show you how to set up a template for a form. So we've got this forms templates icon just here. When we click on this, you will see a bunch of uh, templates that have already been created within the system. Uh, but what you can do is you can add a new template by clicking on this button here. And then you will just give the, te the template a name and a description for that template as well, and then submit it. What we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, one of the templates that we've already uh, created. So we're going to take a look at the staff return to work form. So if we edit that. And as you can see, all that this is, is that it's a form that has already been designed with the appropriate components in there. So rather than having to compose a form from scratch every single time and put all of the components in there over and over again, you can have this template saved and then simply fill it in and send it out quickly. So all that you would do is you would look at this template, see the components that are in there, and at the bottom, what you do is you click on save, and then you'll have the option to create a form with this template. And the name of the form, so we'll just do Mr. Smith. Return to work. And then create form. Okay, so we've now created that form. We can choose to send the form straight away because we've already looked at the components. And then it's just a case of adding a recipient and then sending the form in the same way that we showed you. Okay. So... That is pretty much everything that we need to look at in terms of a tour of the system. Uh, another couple of features that are quite quite handy in the forms module and quite nice to be able to utilize uh, is setting the school logo. So you can upload your school logo into the system so that when the forms are sent out, the logo will appear on there. Just adds a little bit of a sort of personalization to the system for you. And also you can customize a theme for your form as well. So if we click onto form themes just here, and you can set a theme up and you can also add your own themes so that they appear in the background of the form. So guys, that is everything that there is to show you for this webinar today for our forms module. Um, if anybody has any questions, you should be able to uh, type those into the chat feature. So if you have any questions, uh, then feel free to ask us now and we can, we can answer anything that you've got. Thank you very much for your time and uh, I'll leave this open for any questions anybody has. Hello again, guys. So we've had one question come through, which was regarding sending the forms out to the parents. And the question was, does the form go out to one parent per child or does it go out to both parent contacts per child? Uh, the answer to this one is quite simply, it does depend on your teachers to parents subscri subscription. Um, so if you have teachers to parents set up so that it only sends out uh, text messages to one contact per child, then that is what the forms module will do. Uh, if, however, you are subscribing to both contacts uh, per child in school, then the form system can follow that as well. Again, if there are any more, any more questions, please feel free to pop them into the chat. So another question that we've had come in was regarding uh, sort of who you can send a form to. Um, so the way that the forms module will work is that you will be able to send forms out to anybody that you have stored within your teachers to parents account. Um, so primarily you'll be sending them out to parents, but also staff, 
uh, if you've got, uh, for example, governors uh, that you've got uh, set up within your teachers to parents system, you can send to them as well. Um, and also social workers. Um, again, if you have the contact saved within your teachers to parents account, you will be able to utilize them within the forms module and send them out to them. Okay, guys, it seems like we've had all of the questions that uh, have been submitted today. If you want to know a little bit more about this forms module, if you want to know things about costings uh, and sort of to have a bit more of a play with the system, that sort of thing, if you want to head over to our main website, so www.eduspot.co.uk, uh, you will find some more information on that website. Uh, and also, if you want to pop an email over to our inquiry address, so that's inquiries at eduspot.co.uk, uh, our sales team will be happy to contact you to explain more things like costings, uh, giving you a bit more of an in-depth demonstration and things like that. Um, and yeah, just feel free to get in touch. Thank you very much for your time, guys. I appreciate uh, everybody taking time to have a look at this module with us and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.